Plus dog, so we got a wizard, being a giant uh, snake that I was sporting my last uh, live report. Thank goodness that's over with. I got to show some more favorite birds, though. Specifically for birds, I'm hanging out with Gerald Burst from uh, Parties by Parrots, and yeah, we, we found the right guy. You got any parrots there, Gerald? I have a few. <laughs> I have a few more back at the rescue. But uh, this is Mustafa, Foster, Stella, Stormy, and Bowie. Now, four of these five are rescues, and one's my personal pet. But um, I had a lifelong passion about parrots. When I was two years old, I got my first parrot, and it was like the love of my life from day one. These guys are wonderful. They are very friendly. They will go to anybody. They do tricks. They will fly to you if you put your arm up. I'll have one fly to you. Okay. Can you put your hand up? Put my arm up like this. Hi, Mr. Bowie. This is like a microphone as well. Uh, so they can figure out what they to anybody I tell them to. I have ones that are talk on cue. They won't attack on cue, right? No. <laughs> but watch, watch Stella. Hello, Stella. Hi. So hairy. Why not? She's my pretty girl. Talk. She's bigger than my mouth. She's now got rid of the high uh, and she wants that. to come and so, yeah. with that. Hi. If you grab hold of that leash, all, of talk, all my parrots talk except for like one. Wow. Do one not let him go. No, Toby. What they want to talk for. <laughs> By um, like, you know, this guy will talk to my wife, Toby, as soon as she walks in the house. They're going to take now where they like to talk to certain people. Yeah, they pick their person that they love. Really? And that is the biggest thing with these guys, getting to know the parrot. And then you work off what the parrot wants to do. And what happens if they don't know? You're just curious, you know? Well, they could fly away from you. They could bite you. Okay, John, so nice. I'm a friend, remember that. And uh, this is the kids love them, I imagine. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the kids of all ages, though. So, like, especially, like, the older crowds, too. Like, the elderly people. This is my baby Buster. He's eight years old. <laughs> Buster's wrapping it up. So, Story I had over the over the years was the 95 year old woman who had all kinds. She was holding Stella here the most happy to. And a week later, she comes back to the park. She sees me again, and she's yelling from me across the park. She, her granddaughter was in tears because she was so in love with Stella. She remembered us. Wow. And she doesn't remember her granddaughter day to day. It's amazing. They are memorable animals. And uh, you're going to be here today and tomorrow, right? At the end? Yeah, we'll be here today and tomorrow. Come by, say hello. You take a picture with them. They are all friendly. They're fly to you. They're talk to you. And it's all about the smiles in life. Absolutely. You find something that brings you joy in life, and you never work a day in your life. So I hope you found that with your passion for parents. Thank you for sharing that with us. I survived, guys, and haven't been attacked. All morning long, we're going to keep it that way. Although, I'm I haven't had my show of animals because we're going to hang out with some alpacas later on at 9 a.m. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> so, all right, I think. I'm going to send it back to you. Don't even ask me a question, guys, because I'm too far from the to respond. It's like a scene out of Home Alone. All the birds flying around. <laughs> <laughs> it's not one of Ross's children. It's looking at his Exactly. It's a boy. Like, that's how we look at Ross. I can feel him breathing in my ear. That's how to move, his friend. <laughs> Smile that's never ending. <laughs> you know, like, and you want to expect it, but as soon as you do it, yeah, it's like amazing. Yeah. Hey, I'm feeling the joy, guys, but uh, I think we've got enough joy. So we're going to send it back to you. Thank you very much. Hey, tell me a lot more to